Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. For two decades, he's had his hands in the tresses of some major superstars like Patti LaBelle and Mariah Carey and many, many more. And today he's here to share some hairspirations right here on Sister Circle Live. Please welcome Emmy nominated stylist, Dior Savoy. Yes, I'm here. Uh, you are giving me all types of tea right I'm here. I'm trying to keep up with you. Baby. Well, you are You're doing some good, good tea things. Thank you. I love how creative you are. I love your hair. And I I mean, this, this is just amazing. It's so beautiful and it's unique. Thank you so much. I'm trying to, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm trying to keep up with you. Your hair is laid. Baby. When I say My laid, hair I mean is laid. laid. <laughs> and I'm in person and saying it, okay? Thank you, baby. And that means a lot coming from you because you had your hands all in Mariah's hair. Mariah Carey's yeah. hair. <laughs> now, how did that come about? And actually, how did you get started in the business? Getting started, I started with ABC. Uh, my first clients were Whoopi Goldberg and Sherry Shepard. And wow. working with them, it just helped my career boost to the next level. Yeah. And I'm just so happy. I think um, when people started to notice me is when I broke the internet with Donna Brazile. I turned her hair, transformed her, and it went on from there. Wow, I wish I could do something like that. That's just absolutely <laughs> amazing. So what was it like to work with Patti LaBelle? I mean, Mariah Carey, what is that like? Come on, Patti is gonna feed me. She gonna make sure I'm all right. I'm gonna get those Patti pies. Yes. She gonna make sure I'm right before I slay that head. Yes. I love me some Patti, okay? Yes. She, she, is like, the, is she, like your she is your mom, mom your yes. grandma, your auntie, somebody you can sit down yes. and talk to. She's everything. I love it. Okay. I love it. And Mariah Carey. And Mariah, what? That's my kid, your spirit. Honey, that honey. is my kid, your spirit. We're both Aries with kids, honey, twins. I, I love, love her. She's love. actually somebody I can talk to all day long. But I, what I do love are these women that you have here and their beautiful hair. Let's talk a little bit about this first style here, this first look. Yes, I'll. First model, Nishana, she has the natural twist out what we wanted to do to protect people's hair. Mm -hmm. This is a heat freestyle that anybody can rock and take care of their hair at I all love it. times. Do you mind if I touch it? No. Using a hydrating <laughs> shampoo, a hydrating conditioner, Beautiful. sulfate free, you can get this look. It's amazing. I love it. The way it feels, so do the you, texture, do everything. Do you twist it, Dior, while it's wet? Or what do you, how do you, you do that? You definitely twist it while it's wet. Um, yeah. Sometimes I say you want to pull on it before you twist it so that way you can have some stretch to ah. it. That way you can have more length to it. But you also want to use sulfate free conditioners and shampoos. This will hydrate the hair and keep it healthy. And I I got to tell you, I think what's most important here is the shape. So you actually shaped the, the shape. The shape, I definitely yes. shaped it because I wanted to frame her face and bring out her natural bone structure and you her did beauty. That, honey. <laughs> Your cheekbones are popping. <laughs> All right, let's move on to our uh, second model here. How beautiful girl. Look at you. You're too cute. This is our second model, Brittany. Mm -hmm. Brianna. Um, I am transforming her to Curly Raya. This is the look that everybody has been trying to this get. Is so cute. I love this. To get this look, you want to do a pull curl, and then you want to do a back comb using a one-inch curling iron. And this way, when you use your boudoir holding spray and fluff it out, it gives you this exotic look. Now, how long was this last? And what does she do at night to kind of keep this the curls so they won't flatten? Well, I definitely think with keeping these curls, you want to use a high dressing cream at okay. nighttime to keep your frizz away and using a satin cap. Okay. Um, definitely you want to twist the front a couple of little bit so okay. that way you can keep your texture in your hair. Okay. This will keep it along for an extra week or so. Oh, you And then you fast, take it huh? right back out at the end of it and you are done, baby. Just like that. Get so, that curly texture right back in there. So this is a hairstyle that would last for at least a week. At least a week or two. I love it. I, it's, and it's soft. It's so beautiful. So what products did you use with this one? With her, I used the, the Millborn um, Intense Shine Free Serum, and mm -hmm. I also used it. I also used. Boudoir All Nighter, mm -hmm. which is a product that I love. It's my go-to product. I am amazed by you, that product. You know what I love about this, Dior? I love the fact that the curls are there, but her hair is so soft So still. soft and still yes. movable, touchable. Yes. You can Would have you it and play shake? with it. Can you, can you just... Let the people know. Oh, oh. <laughs> girl, you on a dark and lovely box. Okay, <laughs> I see you, Diva. Yes, now this is my girl, honey, because this is a good wig girl okay. right here, I tell you. So what do you what do you have here, Dior, and what, what made you choose to do a bang on her. I chose to do a bang to frame her face yes. because we definitely wanted to be able to switch up. This is something more professional when you're headed to work. Mm -hmm. But as we're talking about Valentine's Day, you know you want to switch up for your significant other. So what other way to do a wig switch? Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn my back to you ladies you real quick. You're going to do that right here? Yes, right on national TV, oh, baby. Oh, okay. All right, then. We are going to do it on I national like TV. I like the whole wig switch. I do it all the time, honey. I might switch it up today. Know. How about that? Oh, my God. Look at you. 
And I like the what? color. And she's a different person well, already. Well, she, was, she went different from a sophisticated person lady to a whole to a party kitten, girl, honey. She ready got... to party. Now, now, how did you come up with the colors? I see that there, it's it's uh, highlighted. You have blonde, and it's almost like some, is it orange? Yes, it's like an orangey red. I wanted to give, not the typical Valentine's Day red that everybody gives, but I wanted to create some texture and some highlights to bring out her face and her chick bones yeah. and her complexion. So when she goes home to her significant other, they can be like, who are you? Oh my God, well, he gonna find out who she is. They gonna find out today. <laughs> Now, does it matter the quality of the wig? Or, I mean, because sometimes we're just doing something for the moment. Sometimes a wig is calling for a look. A look is calling for a certain wig. Yes, you it know? definitely. I feel like um, the better quality is the ones that you keep at home when you pull out for your good, 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 good Judy's when you want to go outside and have fun and things like that. Mm. And you have your regular quality. When you want to just go shopping, hit the town and things like that, you don't have to have a better quality wig when you're just shopping so and stuff like that. it doesn't have to be expensive. It does not have to be expensive when you're running the town. I say you should always have an expensive one for emergencies so when you're heading to business meetings and need to look more professional. Right. Okay, so how do we keep up with I mean, if we did like um, a synthetic wig? How do, we, how do we make sure we maintain that wig? Remember, I always say a synthetic wig, whether it's human or synthetic, it needs to be prepped. A wig is only pre-prepped for you, so it's up to you to make the final touches to it to make it uh, customized to you. Well, we are now ready for Valentine's Day. Thank you so much, Dior, for your inspirations to keep up with him and all he's doing. You want to follow him on social media and Instagram at Dior Sabor. And up next, we're going to be doing some more things. <laughs> <laughs> it is live TV, people. It was something completely in the prompt.